Hey man, how you doing? Hey, I got a YouTube channel where I, I interview random people. Uh, hey, stop it. It's okay. Hey, hey. Hey, get down. How's it going today, man? I'm Mike. What's your name? Mike. Right on. What do you I was just curious, you look like you have your own business. What do you what are you working on? Well, I, I pick up you know like boat crafts and what people do out of their house. Oh, Cool. Do you find, I'd do the same thing, bro. I would just, I would just curious. I actually go to the swap meet, go to garage sales, go to yeah. uh, state sales, all that stuff. But I'm kind of just like local, just like around the neighborhood. Awesome, man. That's cool. And that's uh, about all. That's how I survive. That's cool. That looks like a, a cool piece right there. That metal you can sell that on eBay for like twenty-five bucks, thirty bucks. I bet. This right here. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah, yeah, little. That's, that's about all I do. Recycle metal, and that's about it. And, they give me clothes or something, and sometimes I, I sell the clothes or I keep them. Bro, um, if you have a computer and you have a camera, mm -hmm. you can, like, that kind of stuff, add a trash pickup. If you if you learn to have the kind of eye for know what to know what people want in stores and stuff like that, like yeah. that, that uh, would go, somebody that would uh, have, like, a kid's clothing store or something like that, yeah. they'd pay 35, 45 bucks for that. Really? Um, on eBay, yeah. Yeah. eBay? Yes, sir. Yeah, eBay and uh, they, like Craigslist. So offer up. Offer up. Instead of scrapping that stuff, you can uh, really? just sell it, man, and make make yourself some money. Yeah, absolutely. Really? So I do the. I, this might be seem weird to you, but I do. I film a lot of people and stuff like that. So yeah. a lot of times it's not a, a positive interaction like this. It's it's negative because I get uh, stalked and harassed. Like usually when I come to my house, yeah. there's somebody walking away from my house. Uh, cars parked in front of my house keep you know something odd going on so i usually like to try to document that but you're just out picking up stuff out of street pickup yeah, man that's or, that's awesome or they have a yard sale and i, I go ask and they, they give me some clothes and shoes awesome and, you know what i mean and if i can't wear them i can't use it then i, I sell it you know what i mean to help yeah. myself out for the day yeah for sure bro that's that's cool that's yeah. cool all right, well, I'll, I'll let you go, man. I just wanted to say hi and right. you know put some positive stuff on my YouTube channel. There's a lot of lot of negative stuff, like I said. Oh. And uh, try to change it off to positive. Well, I'm just gonna keep it real. Is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. You know, not try to just pretend like everything's good every day, and uh, oh. not try to pretend like like serious inquiries only, right? Kind yeah. Be be objective. That's the word. So. Um, yeah. You know, you basically report positive things when positive things happens. Report, you report negative things when negative things yeah, happens. Yeah, you know, when people ask me out of the blue, I just tell them, if it's negative and it's, it's, it's not good, it's, it's against the law, I just tell them no. Word. People, I just tell them no. Right on. All right, buddy. All Thanks, right. man. I appreciate it. Hey, if you want to, I don't know, do you have a computer or anything? Or? No. Do you have a phone? No. So you can, if you get like food stamps, I just learned this. I just learned this the other day. If you get food stamps from the uh, from the state, you can. They'll give you a cell phone, that Obama phone. Now yeah. I'm not really cool with that because I think everybody should pay for their own thing. But if yeah. you're in a, if you're in a shitty situation and you need um, the internet, you can get on food stamps and you can uh, get that free phone. They'll give you up to three of yeah. them a year, and then that way you can you can handle your business, man. You can. Yeah. Uh, well, if you cut a lot of funding, the, uh, the state. Funding and stuff like that? I think that's a federal thing. But, so federal, that's, but, so that's the country, so it has nothing to do with the state. It's a federal program. But if so. you're homeless, they pretty much still give you somewhat, you know what I mean? 
But I'm saying they'll give you a phone. I just learned this. I just oh. learned this like a couple months ago from yeah. somebody I know that got some food stamps. And, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't even take the cell phone because I just, I don't know. I don't like cell phones, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, well, it is. It's it a money maker, but I really don't like to, because I find a lot of cell phones and, and then, you know, I give it to someone else and they call and they give them a reward like 20 bucks, you know Oh, okay. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, but it's cool, you know. Well, that's another thing you can make money on too, man. Use cell phones. Um, yeah. You, you can sell those on eBay too. You get fifty bucks for a broken cell phone with a bro cracked screen. Yeah, you can. I don't know so. why. I'm so, I don't know. Well, because people repair them. They'll get a little couple parts. They'll repair them and they'll sell them for full price on on really? eBay. Yeah, absolutely. So. All right, right huh? thank you, sir. Where, where, where about do you live? Do you live like right here? In... No, I live on the other side of the tracks. Like my price. Okay, yeah. No, that's, I know where that I'm is. Good. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh. uh Cashing, right? Yeah, yeah. Right on. Cool. Cool. I don't like that on the other side of the tracks. It seems like we don't all live in the same place, but I know some of my neighbors think that about you guys over here. Um, no, no. They, I've well, heard. I I've, no, I've heard people tell me, "Hey, be careful! Don't go into cashing. There's well, a lot of yeah, bad stuff have, over there." Well, because it seems like people are raised to be a thief. They're all thieves. Okay. I'm like, ah, uh, you know, you can't trust somebody. Tell me to the story. They don't come back, or they don't. They come with something different. They're backwards. What about the, uh, what, do the police come over there? Do they seem like they help you guys out? Or does it seem like... Well, you know what? They're just there to do their job, so, you know. Well, yeah, not much. always. Not always. Sometimes they're out harassing people. And there's good cops and there's bad cops. That's where I stay objective, too. Well, I, I'm not, I'm not anti-cop, but I cannot stand some of them that abuse their position and their authority yeah. to, uh, to mess with people, you know? Yeah, you know what? When it comes to times, I just walk the other way. But if you're not, if you're not doing it wrong or, and you're legit... You, you shouldn't have to... See, that's the thing. You shouldn't have to walk the other way. If you see a police officer and you're not doing anything wrong, you should feel, feel perfectly comfortable to walk up to that guy yeah. and say, Hey, how you doing today, officer? Just like like I walked up or I pulled up to you started yeah, talking to you. That's you know how... They, they, they ask you questions that they can, only ask, they can answer themselves because they got a lot of informants. You know what I mean? They know more than what... You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Yeah, they have a lot of informants. informants. They're, they're called they're called gang stalkers. And I actually that's what I, it's one of the things that I talk about on my talk show is um, we're li living in a society kind of like Stasi Germany uh, when they used to have informant uh, citizens that would inform uh, to the police. And if somebody basically didn't agree with the government, they would throw them in the gulag. Yeah. And that's what we have going on here in Avondale, Goodyear, Arizona. Actually, it's going on all over the United States, yeah. but. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, shoot, man. Um, hey, I'll give you one of my cards, okay? All right. And then, and then, if uh, you have any questions about doing eBay stuff or or picking or whatever, here's a couple of them. All right. Or you need help getting a cell phone or something, something like that, man. Uh, I think I can just get a dog. Because, you know what I mean? Like, no, I understand. Yeah, he's a good dog. He just, he's that way because of what I was just talking to you about. People have broken into our house and hurt him and, and mess with me and he can kind of, he can kind of tell sometimes, so, but. It all depends what type of, like, crowd you're messing with, you know what I mean? Like, because there's all type of people, you know what I mean? There's all type of people, there's. Everybody sucks a good game sometimes, but uh -huh. They're not out to sit there and buy something. They're out to rob and scope out the house uh -huh. and burglarize. Or, you know what I mean? Like, exactly. And you can read a person from them. Like, you can't, but I can. You know what I mean? Like, Most of the time you can read a person. Yeah. Um, some of them are pretty good. I was married to one I couldn't read for a while. You know, the persuasive, conning, conniving. The prettier they are, the harder it is to yeah, catch and, it, right? And you give catch more it. to people that pretty women. you like... Try to give it, you know what I mean, and come back and kick it right now. Bite you in the ass, huh? Yes. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm gonna write a book about that someday. No. So. All right, buddy. All right. Well, hey, good luck picking today, man, and um, it was good to talk to you. All right, thank you. Have an awesome day. All right.